<laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the wind. It is gusty out here. Okay, there you go. We just dropped significantly. I'm glad I was recording. All right, so this is either day two or day one, depending on how it's edited. But the whole purpose of this video is to, uh, to do a range test on only the stock battery. So that's what we'll be doing now. I'm setting up the bike for a stock battery range test. Stock battery is here. It is 60 volts, 37 amp hours. And it is going in that bad boy right there. This will be my saving grace. Uh, the range extender will be coming along for the ride, but it is not hooked up. Uh, there are a lot neater ways where you can put the range extender, so please forgive me if this is not the nicest looking setup. But uh, let's get into this one. Alright, I'm about ready to start this range test. The Relive app is on. It's running. My heated gloves are on. Unlike yesterday, where I rode in the cold before I turned them off, but they were needed, definitely needed. All right, so we are ready. Let's go. We're doing this. I'm going to try to stick to the same route as I did yesterday. All right, praying that the audio is good, praying the angle is good. We're about underway. I, uh, I'm going to start at the tallest part uh, of Staten Island, which is Todd Hill. Now, I thought it was about 400 feet above sea level. Turns out that after the Relive app, I reached an elevation of 1,000 feet. So let's just say I'm starting at the, the tallest point in Staten Island, which is Top Hill, and I'll be able to make it that time. Just hoping that there's no moisture. Uh, it's also a different day. Today is Monday. It should be like more congestion streets, but I will try to uh, finish. For a good hour and 38 minutes. Uh, of course, you know, you have to stop the stop signs and the uh, uh, street lamps. Uh, I was putting it in the road and every chance that I had. That was the The next time I uh, I check in with y'all, we'll probably be around Highland Boulevard. Alright, we are on Highland Boulevard. Uh, Highland Boulevard, I would say, is about a mile and a half, maybe two miles from the house. <laughs> I don't know, I could be wrong. Uh, if I can figure it out from the video that I'll post, uh, I mean, I'll point to the mileage that I just sit right now. Alright, we're about to hit Highland Boulevard and ride Highland Boulevard all the way down to the end. Highland Boulevard, like I said. It's an area that I could paint. into a, an actual e-bike comes with the uh, the switch that you see here it's a three-position switch 
that can make it uh, your throttle just completely dead, uh, only throttle and then uh, uh, pedal assist. Which, uh, you know, if you ever do get pulled over, you can show the cops that this actually is an e bike now. So it's fucking fast and powerful, but it is uh, an e bike. Alright, All right, don't beat me up in the comment section. Okay, so just up ahead, just up ahead is the end of Highland Boulevard. Let's just say if you don't slow down, you're, you're going into the water. Uh, there is, uh, it is here that I'll stop, I'll pull over, I'll uh, check the relive app, check the, oh my god, it is windy as fuck, if I didn't mention it before, and I am being tossed around like a rag doll. All right, so in this area, we will uh, see how many miles I've covered so far. Uh, I have tried to hold that throttle back as often as I can. I think I've covered about 14 miles, not exactly sure. Uh, we will find out right now. A good place to come this time of year because it is so cold you will not find a soul out here no kids running around nobody all right conference house park everybody that's where we are right now and boy is it windy all right so i'm getting off Let's talk a little bit about what I'm riding, shall we? This is a 2023 Suron Light B. Get you some tight shots so you can see. I did clean it up, but we went through some puddles, so you already know. So this Suron, it's completely stock. It comes with the, the larger battery. It is a 60 volt, 37 amp hour battery. I picked it up uh, second hand, had the thrill seekers, had the Kenny Waba pedal kit on it. Uh, but other than that, it's completely stock. Uh, the suspension's phenomenal, if you guys don't already know. If you're looking for an e-bike uh, and this is within your range, uh, go for it. I would highly recommend it. Uh, pedal kit though, especially if you're in New York. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that is the wind. It is gusty out here. All right, 13.4 miles. We've been riding around for about 38 minutes right now. All right, so we're leaving the park right now. 
I'm gonna stop the recording and I will pick it up again either when this bad boy dies or when I get closer to the house. I am somewhere along the ways on Highland Boulevard, but it is so windy, uh, it just makes me want to turn around and show you guys exactly how windy it is and talk about some of the variables when you're doing a, a, a range test. Uh, wind in particular will play a role as well as the uh, rider's weight. And I didn't mention it at the beginning of this video, but or at least I don't think I did. So let me just go over everything again. Uh, temperature right now is about 41 degrees. So it is cold and uh, that will take its toll as well as all the other factors that I'm about to mention. Uh, rider weight, this, uh, this rider over here is 190 pounds. Uh, that's probably about 60 to 65 pounds heavier than any fucking range test that these companies are doing. I think they get the lightest uh, riders out there on their bikes and, and take them for a spin and give you that number. All right, so 190 pounds, it's freaking cold, it's windy as fuck, and not on this light, but on the next light, the gusts are so strong, you have to see what it's doing to the, uh, to the signal lights. I might ride all the way back to the conference house, actually, because uh, I can't see this battery lasting any longer. Well, I guess you could look at the roadway. You'll see the the leaves blowing. Um, I can feel the wind pushing me right now. Uh, if you guys don't already know, Staten Island is an island. <laughs> it's an actual island surrounded by water, and that plays a big role on the temperature in our area. It's usually colder than whatever's posted, as, uh, as well as windier than uh, than usual. But, let me show you this signal light right here. I don't know if you can see it, but look at Old Glory on my left and the signal light over there in front of me. It is windy as fuck. talk about the uh, the range extender the range extender is made with uh, molly cells uh, immediately when I put that bad boy on you can feel the difference in power one thing to mention is that there's very little sag in that battery and you can feel it when you're riding it's faster it feels more responsive something to look forward to if you uh, I purchase a 60 volt uh, 25 amp hour range extender from Powerful Debian. That wind is blowing right now. And uh, I can feel that the power is uh, weakening on this bike. So power is. Battery power is diminishing. Oh my god, that wind is pushing me right now. Alright, I am doing, uh, coasting about 41 miles an hour. Top speed on this thing is uh, supposed to be around uh, 50, but I can make it to about 49. Uh, I can sense that that controller is going to cut off soon. And it's either going to put me in eco mode automatically and reduce the power considerably, or it's just it's not going to go. Uh, right now I'm up a hill. Hitting about 40 miles an hour. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. We just dropped significantly. I'm glad I was recording. I am dropping in speed. I'm going down to 27 miles an hour. I just told you guys that I was hitting a 41, 40 miles an hour and we have dropped significantly. So I believe that this battery is on its last leg. I'm going to turn around. There's a little parking lot area down there and switch batteries. I'm going to connect to the range extender. Uh, check th my mileage. Ah, just please. Oh, we have no power. <laughs> no power right now. Or should I say very limited amount of power. Oh yeah, she's, she's stuttering. I just switched to eco mode. All right, we're gonna pull in here and uh, swap out that battery. check the relive app first all right so we got about 20.6 miles let me finish this up and see what kind of uh, what kind of speed we hit All right, so we hit a max speed of 44 miles per hour on this trip. Down to the last bar. All right, I didn't bring an extra battery for uh, this GoPro, so this range test is pretty much completed. I don't know if this will be a part one or part two video, but uh, so you know, that's what we got today. We got a... Uh, about 20 miles on the stock uh, 60 volt 37 amp hour battery all right so anyway i'm 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 plugged in the range stand range stand is plugged in and i'm good to go i'm i'm going home uh start editing this video all right guys if this is a part two then this is the end of part one uh if you enjoyed what you saw please don't hesitate like always and smash the like button leave a comment i get back to everybody and if you want to please subscribe so until the next video peace out everybody So now that she is strapped down and connected, we are officially good to go.